irrespective of our busy schedule. But we know that every Saturday around this time, we have an appointment with you. Oh Lord, I am praying and I am asking that that which you have purposed to do in our lives, Lord, I pray that today you will do it unhindered in Jesus' name, mighty and everlasting Father. We come before you in the name of Jesus. We are praying and we are asking that today as we gather together, we have come to seek for divine help. Oh Lord, I pray, help will not be far away from any of us in Jesus' name. Mighty God, we come before you today. We are praying and we are asking that Lord, as we come to pray for divine help, Father, I am praying that help will locate each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Mighty God, our eyes are upon you. Mighty God, I am praying and asking that today you will visit each and every one of us. You will touch our lives. You will change our story. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let somebody shout the loudest. Amen. Amen. Now, welcome to today's prayer. As I said earlier, we are looking at something very important. And it is something that everybody, without exception, is in need of. And what is that thing? It is divine help. Let's take our text from the book of Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles, chapter 32. I want to read this. Second Chronicles, chapter 32. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. I want to see where the noise was coming from. So, Second Chronicles, chapter thirty-two, in verse eight, the Bible tells us there. In thirty-two, verse eight, with him is an arm of flesh. 
but with us is the Lord our God to help us to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the walls of Ezekiah the king of Judah. If you look at the story there, you will see a king called King Ezekiah, the king of Judah. On the other hand, we also have another man called the king of Assyria, that is Sennacherib. At this time, Sennacherib has sent message to the king of Judah, to Ezekiah. And I've said, Ezekiah, I'm going to seize your land. I'm going to take over everything that you have. I'm going to possess them. Everything is going to be mine. Your people, your servants, everything that you have, all the things you have in the temple, all the vessels, I'm going to take over everything. The only thing you need to do is to willingly submit yourself to me is to surrender yourself to me, is to hand over yourself to me. If you do that, there will be no problem. But if you go against it, I'm going to come after you. I'm going to defeat you. I'm going to break through your land. I will take over everything. Sena Kerub now sent a word of threat. He told Ezekiah, Go and ask from the people I conquered. Sinakerub was telling Ezekiah, do you know my achievements? Do you know what my profile are? Go and ask all the kings that I conquered. Ask so, 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 and so king what I did to them. Go and ask the other king what I did to them. He was instilling fear in Ezekiah. But one thing about Ezekiah, that I love so much. Ezekiah believed in the Lord is God. Irrespective of all the words, all the threats, all the things that Tenakuru was sending to Ezekiah, the heart of Ezekiah was on God. No wonder he said in that verse 8, he said, with me, with him, that him was referring to Tenakuru. He said, with him, with the enemy, with the opposer, with the opponent, is only the arm of flesh. Is the arm of flesh. Is the arm of flesh. They are walking by flesh. No wonder the Bible says that the weapon of our warfare, they are not carnal. They are not fleshly. They are not according to this world. That was what Sinakeru was depending upon. The weapon of his, of his warfare, it was carnal. He was only meditating and having the, the, the thing that has to do with the world. He was only boasting, boasting in his strength. He was only boasting, boasting in his ability. He was he, only boasting, boasting in what he could do. But he has forgotten that with us, that with us, the Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? The Ezekiah told the Senakeru, he said, with you is the arm of flesh, but with us, but with us, those who are born again, but with us, those who know God, but with us, those who believe the scriptures, but with us, those who depend upon God, but with us, those who have God to our God, but with us, those who have confidence in God, but with us. Those who read the Bible, who believe the scripture, who believe the Bible is the word of God. But with us, those who are standing upon the promises of God, irrespective of what they are facing, irrespective of what is confronting them. But with us, the ones that believe in the God that created the heaven and the earth. But with us, who believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But with us, who believe in the God of Moses the God that divided the Red Sea, the God that brought money out of the mouth of the fish, 
the God that made the sun to stand still, but with us, but with us, is God, the Lord, our help, our help, our help. He said, with him is the arm of flesh, but with us, the Lord, our God, to help us. He will not only help us, oh, <laughs> This God will not only help. The Bible says, and he will fight our battles. He will fight our battles. Beloved, beloved, there are some times we fight battles that we cannot see. Beloved, there, there may yeah. be some things you are passing through. You don't even understand. And, and, and. You don't know what is going on. No, 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 no. And the Lord is telling you, he's going to fight your battle. And you will hold your peace. God wants to fight every of our battle. He wants to fight for you. He wants to fight for me. And he's ready to fight. Whether the battle is visible or invisible. Whatever be the kind of battle you are facing. God is going to fight your battle. He said it there in verse 8. And to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Ezekiah, the king of Judah. Today, we have come to pray. And we are looking at divine help. Divine help. Divine help. When we talk about help, what do we mean? Help means to make easier or to make possible for someone to do something by offering someone's service, by aiding someone, by assisting someone. There's somebody online now. There's something you want God to help you for. There's one, something we want God to do for you now. I am praying for you by word of prophecy, by that thing that you are looking up to God for. That you're looking up to God for divine help. It could be for yourself. It could be for your help. It could be for your health. It could be for your family. It could be for your husband. It could be for your wife. It could be for your son. It could be for your daughter. It could be for your business. It could be for the work of your hand. That you're looking up to God for, for that divine help. I pray for you in the name of the Father, by the authority of the Son, by the awesome power of the Holy Ghost. Oh yeah, receive divine help. Amen. Man. Beloved, when we talk about help, help mm. will make things easier for you. Yes. But when we talk about divine help, divine help, divine mm. help, mm. is the kind of help that comes from above. Yes. People may resist it. People may fight against it. Mm. They may say no. He is not worth it. He should not be helped. He should not be assisted. He is not the one. He, he does not merit it. He, his name is not the one qualified for it. He could be in the place of work. People mm. are just scrabbling for a position. And they want to get a post. And they have gone everywhere. And they have done everything. They have long legs. They have long hands. They know somebody in Aso Rock. They know somebody in White House. They know somebody over there. They know a senator. They know a politician somewhere. And you, you don't know anybody. And you, you don't have anybody. But you have God for your helper. God mm. said, I should tell you. He said, before oh. the end of April, he oh. said, you'll be divinely helped. Amen. Amen. God said, you will Amen. be divinely Help. Amen. God is going to help you. Amen. He's going to help you. He's going to help you. He's going to help you. Amen. He's going to help you. Amen. Not only Amen. will God help you, the help will affect your children. The help Amen. will affect your son and daughter. The help Amen. will affect your family. The help will be Amen. in the place of work. The help will Amen. affect every area of your life. <laughs> Beloved, let me share this testimony with you. Let me share oh. this testimony with you. I know somebody. I know somebody. This person, there was a particular post, a particular position. He was not even thinking about it because to him, 
this position, I don't even merit it. I don't want it. And so, you know, something you do, you know, you, 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 you are not supposed to get that it does not belong to you. You know, you will not even think about it. And that was the case of this person. He was not thinking about that position. Those who, who, who were qualified, they were fighting for the position. They were, you know, struggling for the position. All of a sudden, a command came from, from, from above. A memo came from above and say, look at that person. Look at that man. They wrote his name. They wrote his phone number. They wrote his position that he was before. They said that man, that man is the one that, worthy, that is worthy of that position. That was how they wrote his name for that position. During the meeting, they called his name. They said so, so, and so. There is a position that somebody should occupy. And the position is meant for no other person than this, than, than this person. That was how that brother was promoted to that position. I am praying for somebody. I am praying for somebody now. By the word of prophecy, that position, that thing, the one you think that mm. you don't even merit, that thing that you know, yeah. by whatever reason, by protocol, by position, you don't merit it. Mm. Hey, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, oh. I am praying for you. In the name of mm. Jesus, Oh, yeah, take that position in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. I see God, Amen. oh, I see God. Oh. I see God working for that, this brother, this brother. If I'm pointing to you now. Yes, you are oh. the one I'm pointing to, brother. I see God yeah. working for you now. Amen. I see God working for you, brother. Amen. I see God working for you, Amen. sister. Yes, you are the one I'm talking to. Amen. You say name, yeah. You say name, amen. amen. You are the amen. one I'm talking to. I see God changing amen. your position. I see amen. God helping you. I see God assisting you. I see God elevating you. I see God promoting you. I see God promoting you. I see God taking you high. I see God taking you away from that struggling. I see God taking hardship away from you, acting on your behalf. I see God working in your favor. I see God writing your story. I see God changing your position. I see God changing your story. I see God helping you. I see God assisting you. It will be so in Jesus' name. Amen. You don't have much time. Our time is running out. I have told you about help. I have told you about divine help. Listen to me, beloved. There are different types of helpers. There are different types of helpers. There are a different type of help. They have spiritual help. There are some people who need spiritual help. Apart from the fact that they are not converted, they need God in their hearts. They need the salvation of God. They need the righteousness of God. They need the holiness of God. They need the purity of God. They need the grace of God upon their life. That is spiritual help. Another aspect of spiritual help. There is another school of thoughts. Another category of people. These ones are the one they are being tormented in the night. They cannot not sleep. Something is walking all over their body. They see marks all over their head. Something is just disturbing them. They hear voices in their ears. Some, something is oppressing them. They are not enjoying their life at all. It is the activity of the evil one. Activity of witches and wizards. Activities of powers of darkness. You see strange things happening in your family. You see strange things happening to you. Maybe there's a strange sickness. That sickness by the side of your tummy. The one by the side. The one in your tummy. The one in your head. Maybe there's a growth. Something is growing in your body. Maybe you feel a particular symptom. A sharp pain in any part of your body. And maybe there's something just coming out from your body. Maybe you're having a terrible sickness you have not been able to disclose to anybody. Whatever be the situation in your life, listen to me. Help, divine help will locate you. Divine Amen. help will locate Amen. you. Divine Amen. help will Amen. locate you. In Jesus' name. Amen. There's another set of people. Yeah. We have another type of physical help. This one is the one God will make a human, a man, a woman, that will rise up and we say, see, I want to help somebody. There's somebody I'm looking for. Hey, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this story. 
So a girl was just going. As she was going, a woman met her. The woman asked, what's your name? The girl told the woman. The woman said, I am being led to help you. I want to sponsor you all through your academics. Hey! Muted. To be so for you, that's physical help. Man. Man. Physical help is mm. when somebody you don't know decide to help mm. you. The woman mm. decide to help you. Yeah. Muted. You're not hearing again. Tense the network. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. God is going to help you. Yeah. Because of yeah. my time and because of the net because work yeah. that is fluctuating. Let me quickly hand off so that we can go into prayer. Yes. We are going to pray now. But before we pray, I was telling us the type of help. The type of help. Yes, type of help. We have looked at the spiritual help. There may be some people online now. Financial help. You know you need financial help. You know the activities going on in your family. You know that you need help financially. I am praying for you now that the God that brought money out of the mouth of the fish, that same God, will help you financially in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I am praying. Amen. We have what we call the... Amen. Amen. Or the medical help. There are some people that today you need medical help. Mm. help. You, need, you know you are not well. You know you are not well. You know it too. You know that I am not well. What tells you you are not well? Mm. You see the symptoms that are telling you you are not well. You see mm. everything telling you, oh no, you are not well. And you yourself, you know it that you are not well. God said I should tell you. Today, before we finish oh. this prayer, you will receive medical Amen. help. Amen. Amen. Receive health Amen. help in the name Amen. of Jesus. From Amen. the tip of your head to the tip of your toes. Amen. The Lord will Amen. 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 The hand of the Lord will Amen. touch you. The hand of the Lord will touch Amen. your head. We touch your waist. Amen. We touch your body. Amen. We touch your waist. Amen. Amen. We touch your waist. Amen. Listen Amen. to me. Amen. God will help you. Amen. 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 God will touch yourself. God will touch Amen. your tissue. Amen. God will touch your organ. God will touch your system. Amen. Listen to me. Amen. The blood of Jesus, anything that is not of God Amen. in your body, that thing will be flushed or snake. Amen. 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 Five. Family. 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 When I say help for the family, I need help for the father. Help for the mother. Help for the sons, help for the daughters, help for the aged, help for the young, help for those who have just been born, help for the baby, help for the adolescent. Thank <laughs> you. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Worry, as I told you, the network is oh I'm just trying to manage it. Let me just hand off here. Number six, we have what we call the social help, the national help. And we have number seven, all round help. All round help. I know that the help that you need is the all round help. You need that help, the one that is all round encompassing. You need help that cover every area of your life. You are going to pray, and as you pray, it may just be one prayer point. Please take it serious. It may just be one prayer point. It is going to work for you. It is going to work for you. People, are there people in the Bible who cry to God for help? Let me just tell you. Was what was was having a lunatic? The man came to Jesus. The man came to Jesus. When he came to Jesus, if he said to Jesus, "If thou wouldest help me, if thou wouldest, I know you can. I know you can help me. Be thou cleansed." That was how Jesus healed that man. Jesus. He was begging Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 It should be net to work. And again, let us try to mount our mind so that why God is giving the prayer and that will not distract us. But there's no other plan. Why did we why were we for the brother? We are going to pray, Lord. Let my head look at me. Jesus said an ever to me this month of the good. Why are we for pastor? Oh, 
世界だ。ヒンビトロールンは世界だ。ヒンビトロールンは世界だ。イバタバリラオンはエチャコジノン。ヒンビトロールンは I don't know what I'm talking about. Didn't take up when Pastor Mike is not there. Let's continue to call upon the name of the Lord. I'm saying the name of the Lord, Pastor Dapo. I still have a name. Why can't he take up where Pastor Mike is not? Let's continue to call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, I told you we have just, just one prayer point. It's what I'm giving you one prayer. You will pray as if you have never prayed. You will pray. You will tell the Lord. You know, I've told you the kind of help. There are some people here, you need what you need is all round help. Help for your family, family help, help for yourself. Help for your husband, help for your wife, help for your people, help, financial help. You need help. You are going to call upon the name of the Lord. You will cry aloud. You will say, Oh God, for my、oh、sake, arise and help me. Arise and help me. Arise and help me. Open your mouth and call upon God. Open your mouth and pray. Oh God, for my sake. Oh God, for my sake. Arise and help me. Arise and help me. Arise and help me. Because of me. Because of me. It is because of me. Arise and help me. Arise and help me. Arise and help me. For my sake. Oh God, for the sake of my family, help me. Open your mouth and call upon God. Oh God, arise and help me. Arise and help me. Arise and help my family. Open your mouth and call upon God. You need spiritual help. Open your mouth and pray. Oh God, arise and help me. I cannot find it.
Do you want God to help your family? Open your mouth and pray. Oh God, arise and help my family. Arise and help my family. Arise and help my family. Arise and help my husband. Help my wife. Help my daughter. Help my son. Help me. Help me, Lord. Open your mouth and pray. You need family help. Oh God, arise. Help my family. 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 Do you need all hands help? You need all hands help. Open your mouth and call upon God. Oh God, help me in all the areas of my life. Help me in all areas. God is helping somebody academically. God is helping that person academically. God is asking me now. Help me you academically. That you are you. He's helping you. He's helping you. He's helping you. Are you talking to God in prayer? Arise and help me. Arise and help me. Arise and help me. Arise and help me in all areas of my life. Help me. Jesus. Jesus, 
Jesus. Then David look up. He said, Where will my help come from? Continue praying. Then Elijah said, Where is the Lord of Elijah? Call upon the name of the Lord this morning. Father, where are you? You are not the first person to do that. Now that you are the second one. Whether will you be the first, whether will you be the last. But now, the ball has come out to your court. What makes David say that? Where shall my head come from? What makes Elijah say? Where is the God of Elijah? Call upon the name of the Lord. Baba. Oh, my good father. Let your head down. My dear father, my dear mother. Open your mouth. Out, open your mouth, open your mouth. Where is the Lord of Elijah? Almighty oh, God, oh, my financial situation, on oh, my children, on oh, my wife, on oh, my husband, on oh, my academics, on oh, my business, on oh, this mountain that I'm looking on. God Almighty God, where is God of Elijah? I look at human beings. There's nothing. Yes, I feel the happy. But the problem is not to solve. I look at my right side. I see family. I see the happy here. But the problem is not solved. My health is in you. I look at my left side. I see a smile. I thought you had me. Jesus, who go help spiritually, 
in the name physically, of Jesus. Oh God, help me. Family wise, help me. Financially, help me. Oh God, help me academically. Oh God, help me in all ramifications. Oh Lord, help me. Oh Lord, arise and help me. Who Lord arise and help me? 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 Who who Lord the time of Elijah. Who Lord the time of Elijah. Who Lord the time of Elijah. That's it. God help me. The God that help me. That's it. God help me. The God that help me. We are the God of Elijah. God that help me. Oh God, Father David. That's it. God help me. Who Lord help me. Who Lord help me. Who Oh Lord, help me. Oh, oh Lord, help me. Help me. Oh, oh, this financial situation. Help me financially. Oh, oh God, this was even oh, 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 this job situation. Oh, this oh, 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 Oh Lord, Call upon the name of the Lord, Almighty oh Father, on this one, on this one, oh Father, come upon me. Oh Elijah, call upon I know the name of the Lord, oh Father, you have the power to do. This is your time. This is your time. Last Thursday, I was telling us, the Lord of the Lord, 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 Elijah, be into my dry boy in the name of Jesus Christ. Elijah asked, 
Elisha asked, you are asking this morning, Father, why this, why that? Why this, why that? You are not the first person. God is your God. Almighty God is your mother. Is your father. You have the opportunity, you have the right, you have the opportunity to ask him, Father, where are the powers of all? Where are the powers of God upon my life? Call upon the name of the Lord. Where is God of Elijah? Upon the situation of my life, upon that situation of my life, upon the decision I'm facing, upon the pleasure that have happened, upon the situation that is shaking me, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Where is God of Elijah? 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 Let it go together. Let it fire. Let it answer by 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 fire. By the power. Why in the blood of Jesus? I don't want to be the same again. I don't want to be the same again. King of King Lord of Lord, I presented myself before you. I humble myself before you. I lower myself before you. But that is my head of why in the name of Jesus Christ. But that I don't want to be the same again. I want you to change my testimony. I want you to change the word of my mouth. I want you to change my activity. I want you to change everything concerning concerning me. But the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the God of Elijah be into my matter. Let the God of Elijah be into my situation. Let the God of Elijah be into my matter. Let the God of Elijah be into my situation. Call upon him. Call upon him. Call upon him. He says, Seek you, Shabbat. He says, Go knock at the door, Shabbat. He says, Seek you, Shabbat. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Is that too short? Is it not too short? Is it not too short? This is not too short. 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 Why your God will be difficult? And my own will be difficult. Why will you not share this morning? Where we are sharing this testimony? King of the Lord of Lords. Where is God of Elijah? 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 Oh my situation. Oh my situation. Oh my. Sidonia, Father, 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 put yourself in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Put yourself in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't let me be put to shame. Don't not let me be put to shame. Don't not let me be put to shame. Where is God of Elijah? 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 Answer my prayer, oh Lord. Answer my prayer, oh Lord. I even have a new covenant that better than that of your village, that better than that of village. Yeah, which is the blood of Jesus Christ. Where I see the blood. 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 I, see the blood. I will pass over you, Jesus Christ. I will pass over you, Jesus Christ. I will pass over you, Jesus Christ. Where I see the blood. I will pass over you, Jesus Christ. Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why I mean, call upon him. Call upon him. His hand is not short. His hand is not short. His hand is not short. This I did not know. Why me? Why me? Why me call upon you? He will answer your prayer. He will answer my prayer. He will wipe away your tears. His name will go through life. Not because of you. Not because of me. Not because you call upon him. 
But because of his name to be glorified. So that his name can be glorified. So that his name can be glorified. So that his name can be glorified. Like your putte. Like your putte. So that his name can be glorified. Amen. Over to you, Pastor Mike. Let's pray together. Our Father and our God, we return all the glory unto you. We thank you for the way you have visited us today. Thank you, Father, for your spirit that has come down in our midst. Thank you, Father, for your power. Father, we come before you. You told us in that book of 2 Chronicles chapter 32, verse 8, you said, with him is the arm of flesh. <laughs> Father, the arm of flesh will fail them. For you said, with us is the Lord our God. And he will help us. And he will fight our battles. Oh Lord, I pray that in the name of Jesus, every kind of help, all categories of help, oh God, we have talked about, we have talked about spiritual help. We have talked about physical help. We have talked about financial help. We have talked about social, national help. We have talked about family help. We have talked about oh God, all round help. Oh Lord, I have prayed. Everyone present here, I pray for all round help for every one of us. In Jesus' name. Lord, Amen. I am, I am asking that, Father, you will arise and help us. Oh God, Amen. arise and help us. Amen. Oh God, arise and help us. Amen. Oh Lord, I am praying. You did not only promise that you will help us, you said you will fight our battles. Oh Lord, I pray. Any kind of battle we are fighting, the one that nobody knows about, the one that nobody has seen, whether it is visible or invisible, whether it is in the, it's in the family, whether it's in the place of work, whatever kind of battle we are fighting, emotional battle, psychological battle, oh Lord, I pray, in the name of Jesus, arise and fight our battles in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh Lord, I am praying, I'm asking, Father, when your people, when your children come to pray, what is the evidence that, mm. Lord, our prayers have been answered? It's when we come with testimony. It's when we come, oh God, with evidence. It's when we come rejoicing. It's when we come with laughter. It's when we come happy mm. into your presence. Oh God, I pray. Between now, oh God, and next week, Saturday, oh Lord, I am praying. Testimony for every brother. Testimony Amen. for every sister. Let Amen. it be so in our life, in our family. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, Lord, I am praying. Oh, Lord, I am asking. I pray, Father, as we are praying, and our prayer being answered, I pray, Lord, that you so help us. You will Amen. help us. Amen. Lord, you will help us. Lord, Amen. you will help us. Amen. I pray, Father, for those who are crying, those who are weeping, because of one area or the other of their lives, those who are looking, but looking up to you, for one area or the other, oh Lord, I pray. Uh -uh. You told us in the book of the Revelation, chapter 21, verse 4, you said, And the Lord God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Oh Lord, I pray. <coughs> where we are crying, where we are weeping, oh Lord, I pray, wipe away all our tears in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, we shall cry no more. We Amen. shall cry no more. Amen. We shall cry no more. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Lord, Amen. I bless everyone here with the blessings of Abraham, with the blessings of Isaac, with the blessings of Jacob. The Bible says, I have received a commandment to bless. I have blessed and no one can reverse it. The blessing Amen. we have received today, nobody, no hand will reverse it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We return all the glory to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. For the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. For the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. For the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. Oh, the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. Oh, the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. In Jesus' name we pray. 
We shall meet in the uh, Garden of the Eagle tomorrow. Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. Surely. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Amen. Amen.